Six weeks until Californians go to the polls in the June primary, and tonight the race for governor is making a lot of news. Yeah, brand new poll found some very surprising results. Two major candidates have unleashed their barrage of nonstop TV ads, and critics are now slamming the front runner, claiming he's ducking all debates and town hall meetings. Kick and I political reporter Dave yeah. Bryan joins us now live from Pasadena, where a town hall meeting was held tonight. Dave. Yeah, and Jeff and Lena, guess what? Gavin Newsom, lieutenant governor who is leading in all the polls, he wasn't here again tonight. He's been missing for about a month or so at these debates and, and other campaign events like this. He does say that he'll be involved in a, a debate next month during the month of May. This debate tonight was held at the Pasadena City College behind me. It's called the uh, Asian Pacific American Gubernatorial Debate, and there was plenty of heat and fire. Former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa led the pre-debate parade, a parade of his supporters with plenty of vigor. But so far, it hasn't seemed to have helped him in the polls, the most recent of which show him dropping into fourth place behind two Republicans and Gavin Newsom. And when the debate got underway, Villaraigosa tangled with one of those Republicans, State Assemblyman Travis Allen, who claimed California needs to crack down on fraudulent voting. Everybody that votes here in California is a citizen. This notion that people vote here and aren't citizens is just not true. We will audit the DMV to make sure there is no voter fraud in the state of California. Every single citizen will have to show an ID to vote. I don't need to respond to fake news. All right. The issue of immigration and sanctuary cities created some heated friction as well including some boos for Republican businessman John Cox, who has been running second in the latest polls. The first thing I'll do as governor is get rid of this illegal sanctuary state policy. Nobody wants to live next to an MS-13 gang member, and the guns and the drugs are coming into this country. We need to have border security. State Treasurer John Chung, a Democrat, took issue with that position. I'm going to fight for our sanctuary values. We have uh, 58,000 undocumented Asians here in the San Gabriel Valley. Uh, we need to make sure that we protect the dreamers. And former education official Delane Easton was also here tonight to participate in the debate. She's a Democrat. She says her priorities would be putting more muscle into uh, California schools, to getting them back to where they should be, putting more into schools rather than prisons, she said. We're live in Pasadena. Now, Jeff Lena, back to you.